welcome to Brian's Man Cave. So today's another Brian Plays, and I'm going to be checking out Fast Food. <laughs> now, this is a, an odd game. Uh, it came out 82, obviously. It says down there at the screen um, by Telesis. And, um, you know, it kind of has a similarity to a bunch of different games. Um, the first one I thought about was the Taz game, um, which is also on the Atari 2600, where you got a guy has up and down and grab food and miss the, the, the bombs that come by uh, or else you blow up. Um, it was also, um, I believe in Europe, uh, if I'm wrong, it could be Europe, it was um, Asterix, uh, the comic strip Asterix or something. Same game, but uh, you know, just uh, different graphics. And um, this game is similar to also, say, Kaboom. But instead of the bombs coming down or the stuff coming down, it's coming sideways. So that's your mouth right there. Uh, it looks kind of gummy. There's no teeth. Um, kind of creepy looking thing. But anyways, let's, let's start playing. So the object of this game is to try and eat everything except those purple pickles. Um, I, I really don't know why they're purple pickles, but... <laughs> Maybe eggplants. They look more like eggplants. But um, yeah, they're purple pickles. And so you, you kind of have to guide your mouth around and, and eat as much fast food as you can. And I believe it goes... Yeah, there you go. You're getting fatter. It starts to get faster and faster as you play. Um, based, on, I guess, on the scoring... After a while, you just get so inundated by so much food, you don't know what to grab, what to eat, and what not to eat. Um, oh, I grabbed another one. I think it's six purple pickles and you lose. <laughs> I really like how they have those little interludes. Essentially, you're trying to eat before the diner closes, and I guess once you eat those purple pickles, the diner closes. So let's try that again. Now the main reason why I chose to play this game is it's another one of those games that I'm... I decided to make a, a version of it for the Intellivision because I figured it shouldn't be too difficult to recreate this. Um, you know, maybe add a little bit of a change to it, but ultimately try and keep it the same way. Um, you know, with the Intellivision graphics instead, of course. And, uh, you know, so I'm just playing it out to see exactly how the game runs. And, uh, you know, the game speeds and all that stuff. Uh, so far, I, I'm pretty much, I have the bulk of the game completed. Um, i just got to work on a few little odds and ends and, and build in the scoring. Whoa. So the way it also works, too, is that each of the items has their own point value. Um, so you have to go into the manual, and, and it tells you um, some have a point value of one, or calorie, I should say, points, calories. It has a calorie of one. Oh, this is getting really crazy now. All the way up to like, I, I, I'm not sure how high up it goes. So each item has their own amount of calories and you're trying to eat up as much as you can. Um, and then well, I guess get your high score. So I got what, 361. So I gotta try and best myself here. I, I guess that thing with the F is fry, fries. No, that's a hot dog. That's a hamburger. That's that's another hot dog. You're allowed to eat the green pickles. Maybe the guy who made this didn't really like pickles. Doesn't consider them to be, you know, made them purple too. I know the triangle slice is a pizza slice. That right there, but it kind of looks like a Dorito chip. Oh. oh. Keep thinking I can't grab the green pickles, but I can. I mean, it's a simple game. There's not a whole lot going on here. It's one of those games where you definitely just pitch it into your uh, Atari and play for a little bit. And then, you know, unless you're always trying to get to the highest possible score. You know, much like Kaboom. Although I, I think Kaboom is a little bit more challenging than this. I think the Mad Bomber... The, the bombs drop a lot faster and uh, you know it, it, it is a little bit more of a 
you know, trickier game than than this one. Uh, because you're allowed to miss these things. In in um, in Kaboom, you're not allowed to miss anything. Everything has to be caught or else you lose, right? This one, you just got to avoid hitting the purple pickles. So as long as you kind of have a fast eye. Oh, uh, closed again. Crazy. But yeah, I mean, this is fast food. <laughs> There's not a whole lot going on. I don't know what I'm going to do with my version of this game. I was thinking of maybe maybe coming up with a, a different, uh, like a second level type of idea, or maybe uh, crossing it with a different game, like Jawbreaker or something. I don't know. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to see what I can do with it and have a little fun doing it too. Anyways, that was just me playing some fast food for the Atari. Fast food, fast game. Um, really not a whole lot going on, but still fun anyways. I think the cartridge itself is about, you know, it's not it's not rare, but I don't think it's very common to, to find these cartridges out in the wild. But, um, I mean, it's still worth the pickup. Anyways, hope you liked the video. Let me know what you think of fast food. Throw some comments down below. Hope you subscribe. Talk to you later.